there's a cause to everything. That's per personally what I believe. I don't believe that I, I have like free will. I think I have the illusion of free will, but I believe there is a cause for everything. And if I'm doing something because of something, because of a cause, by definition, there's no free will in a way. You know, If there's a cause, by definition, there is not. How does that make you feel, by the way? Like the idea that if we just look uh, outside of even just human psychology and fighting and so on, if we look at like physics, if everything is predetermined, if all of these, these little molecules interacting, it's all already, like your story is already written. I mean, it depends. It's, it, it's written, but... I would need to know all the data and it's impossible, right? They, like it's it's I, it's kind of weird, I gotta say, but I don't, to me, I don't see any argument to counter that idea. I, 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 I can, I don't, maybe I'm, I'm ignorant, but I haven't seen nobody and everything from, that I've read so far, there is nothing that counter that idea that, that, that because in a mechanical world, if your car broke or, uh, you know, we don't say, oh, the car decided to broke or a, a, three, a, a tree is fall. There's reason why the tree is falling. We don't say the trees decide to fall, right? So uh, because us human being, I think it's our ego, we, we decide. And I'm no different than anybody. When I make a decision, I decided to do this. I choose to do this. But I'm aware that there is causes that make me do certain things. And by definition, I think if there is a cause, there is no free will by definition, right? Yes, but the thing is, just like you said, we understand so little about human intelligence, the human mind, and especially consciousness, that the <laughs> this giant mystery, this darkness that we don't understand how, how it, how it feels like to be something, to be a conscious being, that because of that, we're not able to really even reason about free will or not. Because there might be some magic that comes from consciousness. The, you know, the, the consciousness might be the thing that makes us different from a car that breaks down. Mm. There might be something uh, totally fascinating, totally undiscovered yet that will make us realize that free will is actually real and is somehow fundamental to the human experience. So it's sometimes I think we forget when we talk about free will and physics and it all seeming to be predetermined, we forget how little we actually understand about the world. Mm. And I think in that mystery, there could be totally new ideas that are yet to be discovered and will make us realize that it's not just an illusion. It is something that is like at the core of how the universe works. Some people believe that consciousness is a fundamental property of the universe. Like it's a, it's a one of the forces of physics. Like consciousness permeates everything. It's in everything. Like this table is conscious, but it's not, as conscious as us, and we're this little peak of consciousness. And if that's true, and if we get to understand that, maybe there's something, there's an extra bonus we get in terms of free will once you become one of those entities that are super conscious. So uh, I, I, I tend to be sort of humbled by the mystery of it. Do you believe one day with, with the technology that keep improving, we will make robot that will be able to be somehow conscious absolutely i that's been my dream that's been i hope i hope to do just that first of all i believe that all people are capable and want to be good to each other and i think love is a is a really powerful thing that connects us and can create better and better worlds sort of like uh create better and better societies that uh, improve both the technology, the quality of life, and just the, the basics of human experience. And I think creating AI systems that are conscious, that are human-like, can enable us to be better to each other. Like they can, it's, it's almost like adding more and more kindness to the world through the systems we interact with will inspire us to be better and better to each other. In terms of them being conscious, I think that is uh, an absolute requirement. 
that entities we interact with communicate some element of consciousness to us. Like that's how we connect to each other. The reason we, you and I connect is that we believe that each of us are conscious. And to me, what consciousness means is the ability to hurt, ability to, to suffer, to, uh, to struggle in this world. Because just like you said, uh, with, with, without the struggle, you don't have the love, you don't have the pleasure. And ultimately consciousness is an entity's ability to struggle, to suffer. And from that arises the pleasure. And us together being able to appreciate sort of uh, uh, appreciate the highs and experience together the lows, that's how we form the deep connections. I personally think we can create that in robots. And I, I personally believe it's a lot easier than, uh, than we think.